Do you have any diesel generators, DG sets, in your industry or any commercial premises? And are there any diesel generators of more than or equal to 800 kilowatt? And if you are located in Delhi or the national capital region, then it becomes even more important. By the way, this post is also for environmental laboratories offering stack monitoring services. Now, on the screen is an extract from a consent to operate CTO granted by a state pollution control board. We were not intending to display the names, but can't help as the backgrounds or the imprints of the documents reveal everything. If you focus on the two red blocks, it talks about the stack height of a DZ set of 1250 kVA as 12 meters. 1250 kVA means 1000 kilowatt. So it is more than 800 kilowatt. So the SPCB, State Pollution Control Board, granted consent to operate on this basis, on the basis of this 12 meter height. Now what you are seeing on the screen is a screenshot from a notice issued by the Commission for Air Quality Management in National Capital Region and adjoining areas, widely known as CAQM. This notice was issued to the same industry to which the SPCB granted CTO on the condition of 12 meter stack height. And on this ground, there was an imposition of a huge amount of environmental compensation. So far, I have the information the company did not seek environmental justice. If you look at this from a legal and judicial angle, there are certain points which can easily protect the industry. However, the crux of the notice is that the stack height required is 30 meters and the industry is running with a stack height that does not meet the notifications. And what's the notification? GSR 489E dated 9th July 2002, 22 years back. Now, you think, how ignorant is the industry? By the way, it is about a multinational company. And how ignorant is the State Pollution Control Board? Next, you see a laboratory stack monitoring report to the same company. The report shows stack height as 12.5 meters, which the CAQM took into reference. And the same stack height has been replicated by another laboratory. Why didn't the laboratories inform the industry about this violation? Or maybe you can say non-compliance. The industry could have taken action for compliance. And that's why I said that this post is also for environmental laboratories offering stack monitoring services. If the industry had approached the judiciary, the laboratories would have been held accountable and their credentials, recognition and accreditations could have been at risk. Not only this, both the laboratories have reported three parameters, particulate matters, oxides of nitrogen and carbon monoxide, citing the reference of a CAQM standard. Here, you can see the CAQM standard enforced wide direction number 68, dated 14th September 2022. It specifies values for all the three parameters normalized at 15% oxygen. One laboratory has reported accordingly, the other has not. Moreover, what about the oxygen level? It's fine that you normalized to 15%, but why not the oxygen percentage reported? Another significant point, GSR 489E, dated 9th July 2002, mandates non-methane hydrocarbon as well, which was not categorically exempted by the CAQM in its direction. Therefore, skipping the parameter is certainly a non-compliance. Who is responsible for this? Both the industry and the laboratory? You, viewers, you decide and comment in the comment section. Finally, the sampling duration was 30 minutes with a reference to IS 11255. Is it practical? Is it technical? You can decide from what you are seeing on the screen now. This is an extract from IS 11255. This is why we always raise this point that it is important in the part of the laboratory service buyers 
that they should also know what is the standard requirement and what reports they are being given and environmental laboratories should also stay cautioned to avoid litigation that's all in this episode